personal tape recorder has been uh, a big benefit. It's been a big benefit to us in, uh, in passing some of the time away and our transit out to the moon. And it's uh, rather odd to see it floating like this in, uh, in Odyssey while it's playing uh, the themes of 2001. And of course, the uh, tapes would be complete without the blurry. We had just finished a TV program uh, showing everybody the lunar module with my TV cameras, and it was being sent down via telemetry by, uh, down to uh, Houston to the control center. And now, Fred uh, engaged with his favorite pastime I found out on this flight so far. He's not in the food locker, is he? That's his second favorite pastime. He's wringing his hammock for sleep on the lunar surface now to try it out to see what it's going to be like. Roger, uh, sleeping and then eating. Uh, so I was on the way down when I heard the noise. And so what I, finally when I got down the command module, I noticed that the red lights were on. Uh, that a couple of fuel cells, a fuel cell develops electrical power that we need to utilize the oxygen and hydrogen, combining them, getting electrical power. Uh, and, that, uh, and, uh, and I noticed that uh, they were on, which is kind of bad news because we needed electricity. 13, we've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like it to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. Okay, stand by. This is Houston, say again, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main B bus undervolt. Roger, main B undervolt. Okay, stand by, 13. We're looking at it. We may have had an instrumentation problem, flight. Roger. You got, can we review our status here, Cy, and see what we've got from a standpoint of status? What do you think we got in a spacecraft that's good? Well, when they exposed it for, at first, we didn't know what caused the noise. As a matter of fact, uh, during our training in uh, in the spacecraft uh, prior to us taking off, there was a, an oxygen repress valve in the lunar module that uh, that Fred liked to fire and it made a noise. And he always liked to do that because it scared. Uh, or you know, so what was that, to, to Jack and I? Well, whenever you stand by one. Yeah, I got him with the uh, Kevin repress valve in there, Jack. Every time he does that, our hearts, our hearts come in our mouth. Right. And finally, I thought maybe that was it again. He was just trying to be, you know, I don't know what he was trying to be, but uh, I looked up at him and I could tell from his expression that he had no idea what caused that noise. But then when I looked out the window, the side window, I saw escaping at a rather high rate of speed, uh, sort of a plume like this of, uh, of gas, and it didn't take much intelligence to my, in my part that the gas that was escaping from the rear of my spacecraft happened to be oxygen. And I confirmed that when I looked at the quantity gauge on the instrument panel, and sure enough, uh, that we had two tanks, and one tank was going empty in, our, in a hurry. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing to see. And it looks to me, looking out the uh, hatch, that we are venting something. We are uh, we are venting something out uh, into the uh, into space. Roger, we copy your venting. It's a gas of some sort. Okay, let's everybody think of the kind of things we'd be venting. GNC, you got anything that looks abnormal in your system? Negative flight. How about you, Ecom? You see anything that uh, with the instrumentation you got that could be venting? Let me look at the system for you, the venting is concerned. Okay, let's start scanning. Okay, now let's everybody keep cool. We got the limb still attached, the limb spacecraft's good, so if we need uh, to get back home, we got a limb to do a good portion of it with. 
okay? Let's make sure that we don't do anything that's going to blow our CSM electrical power with the batteries or that will cause us to lose the main or the uh, fuel cell number two. Okay, we want to keep the O2 and that kind of stuff working. We'd like to have RCS, but we got the command module system, so we're in good shape if we need to get home. Let's solve the problem, but let's not make it any worse by guessing. It's Apollo Control, Houston. Um, this rapid exchange of conversation you've heard, uh, may the main B bus uh, is off the line. Uh, fuel cells one and three also off the line. Uh, fuel cell two is presently on the line. We now show 13 at an altitude of 178,643 nautical miles. We're at 56 hours, 12 minutes into the flight. <laughs>